Hey, what's up guys? Nick here with my review for Justice League Dark Side War Flash number one. Now, this is the third tie into the Dark Side War story arc from Justice League, focusing on each of the Justice League members that were given new god abilities. Now, the Flash in this issue is given the power of the God of Death and the Black Racer, and throughout this issue, he's kind of dealing with the themes and morality of life and human beings and what death means and like the idea of becoming the god of death and the black racer because essentially what the racer is holding over the flash's head is that the flash doesn't want to become the god of death he doesn't want that to happen but the black racer is saying if you don't like give in to the god of death and you don't give in to the power set then he's basically going to kill everyone and that like death comes to everyone eventually that like you can't stop it you can't outrun death and barry tries this a few times and the black racer uh tricks him with putting his mom in front of him and then like all this all these different things and holding Iris West and saying that the only way he can avoid killing everybody is if he takes one life and becomes the god of death and the one life that he has to take is Iris West and basically Barry doesn't want to do that he tries to, anything that he can to get away from it and he even tries to take the, the uh, god of death scythe away and try and kill the black racer with it and he does that but he ends up unleashing the grim reaper and the god of death basically on the entire universe by like setting it free and the only way he's actually able to stop the Black Racer and the God of Death is by sacrificing his own life or what appears to be his own life and just accepting the powers so I think that was kind of a twist ending for me I was like oh that, that just came out of nowhere like Barry just sacrificed himself to become the Black Racer or you know to be, become this new god so uh, yeah I mean overall I think the issue I think it's becoming a trend with these Dark Side War tie-ins that the issue itself doesn't really have a story to it it's just more of an internal struggle with these characters kind of dealing with their new god abilities it's like every issue has this thematic approach to it where it's like oh there's something that's weighing over the hero like they'll have to you know accept these new powers and or else something bad will happen and yeah there's a lot of consequences to his choices in this issue but yeah i mean it was a pretty solid read i thought the art was really good i like the whoever the artist was there's a guest artist i can't remember their name but they had a really good expressive take on characters and emotions so I like that a lot. I'm gonna give this one a 7 out of 10 and I recommend it for anyone following the Dark Side War series so far. As always, this is Nick signing off. Till next time.